Hey guys, Professor Doni here. Um, put together this quick video on graphing. Uh, there's been some questions from my on-campus students, uh, especially with the lab uh, with the RC cars, the acceleration constant velocity. So what it does, uh, we started the first one, the acceleration graph. It is asking you to plot 2x versus t squared. All right, what that means is the y axis is going to be the twice distance and the x axis will be that. Don't forget units, meters, seconds squared. So it's the first one versus the second one is going to be the y versus the x, which really is trying to set us up so our slope will be equal to the ratio of those two, the 2x over that. So in this uh, lab, what it asks you to do is to plot uh, two points. The first point is going to be 0, 0. That's pretty easy to put in Excel. And the second point is going to be um, t squared as your x and twice x as your y value. Now, you're going to pull this out of your average time column from table 1. And you're going to pull that one from taking twice the distance or displacement from also table one. Now this distance should be the same for all. Here you're going to take the average one there. So you're going to create two. When you go into Excel and you, you put it in there, however Excel needs it, uh, you're going to have your x, com x coordinates y, you'll have a zero, zero, and then you'll have some number for t squared and some number for twice x. And once you have Excel plot that, you're going to ask it to put a curve fit or trend line. I'm not sure what they have in there now. And what that's going to do is give you, once you put the curve fit or trend line, or ask it to put an equation, it'll say y equals some number times x plus some other number. This is the slope of the line, which is going to go into, I want to say, table 4 or 5. I think it's table 5 where you're comparing the average acceleration versus that. So hopefully that helps you with the first graph. The second graph will be similar. You're going to do two points. Uh, in the third graph, you're going to do the same thing, but you should have deceleration, so it's going the other way. Okay? That should get you started. Again, it's 2x is twice whatever your distance is, and t squared is obviously taking average time squared. So hope that helps. We will see you guys uh, in class soon. Thanks, bud.